Hello! You are watching episode 48 of The Daily Decrypt, independent member of LTB Network. I am your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by B&C Exchange. Alexandria is an alpha stage peer-to-peer -peer file storage and retrieval system. Similar to if BitTorrent had its own browser and was capable of streaming level speeds. Lead developer Devin Reed has today released an alpha software demonstration and invites interested participants to download the Librarian client and try it out for themselves. To see samples of the kind of content that's hostable and retrievable using the protocol, visit alexandria.media. Today, 70-year-old Bernard von Nothaus has been released from a year's worth of home confinement and probation inflicted on him by the U.S. government. Years ago, von Nothaus issued paper currency, which was redeemable for his own gold and silver stores. He was then assaulted by the U.S. government in 2009, labeled a domestic terrorist, and dragged through years of court. Let me know if you start any cryptocurrency wallets, Bernard, as I would be honored to send you a tip. Coinjabber is a site I've just discovered which looks to be a Yelp for cryptocurrency websites. This means that as a user you can submit websites to be reviewed, rank them yourself, and even write reviews. And the most valuable reviews get rewarded with points to be spent in the Coinjabber store or in Bitcoin itself. And something like this is especially useful for cryptocurrency, I think, because in cryptocurrency there are no chargebacks. And so if you get scammed, there's not a third party who can make it all better for you. So I would encourage you to help out your brothers and sisters in the crypto sphere by leaving honest reviews for cryptocurrency related websites on places like Coinjabber. It would seem that the idea of mutual funds has come to cryptocurrency. Coino Index is an asset of the top 20 performing altcoins that is traded against Bitcoin. Exchanges currently supporting this mutual fund like asset are Poloniex, NXT, and Secure AE. Creators of the asset have outlined a specific policy to avoid shot-in-the-night pump-and-dump prices and also don't include asset-pegged commodities like NuBits or BitCNY. Cryptocurrency continues its penetration into the gaming industry. A startup now competing with the likes of Twitch called Disco Melee has today integrated Bitcoin support for payments. Disco Melee is currently accepting beta users. The game streaming service is set up to take Bitcoin through their integration with Braintree. Today's episode is brought to you by BNC Exchange, which upon launch will be an exchange with no central points of failure. That is because funds will all be held in multi-sig addresses and the arbiter's keys will be stored on the BNC blockchain. Learn more at bcexchange.org. For those looking to rake in a few free LTB coins, the magic word today is bandwidth. And get your entries in to the How Do You Crypto video contest for your chance to win a Ledger hardware wallet and a tin of other goodies. Bye. Is it one